In the morning of the accident, relevant groups were required to eliminate the leak during the meeting of the complex. Then, a six-inch cone made and welded on the pipeline in order to eliminate the leakage temporarily. After welding the cone, workers noticed an increase in the leakage. After that, it was decided to make a larger cone to be installed instead of the first one. At 1357, the fitter together with his hand began separating the first cone, but suddenly, the severity of leakage increased. Site operator present at the scene reported the accident to the control room when he saw the great increase in leakage. Fitters and then the operator decided to leave the place and run to the side fence as they see an increase in leakage and pipe shaking. The pipeline suddenly ruptured. An animal with a pressure of 30 bar came out of the rupture spot in a way that the fluid spread in a range of 60 meters and hit the people who were present at the scene. Amina eruption threw away maintenance supervisor who had tried to escape the accident in such a way that he was no longer able to escape. Four other people including the assistant welder, mechanical foreman, welding foreman and operation worker were thrown to the side equipment by Amina eruption and they were not able to escape due to the great severity of Amina eruption and the resulted weakness and fatigue and the suffocating smell of Amina and CO2. Safety inspector of the unit also thrown away to the reformer section by Amini eruption and fortunately, because of his high physical fitness, he managed to crawl to the secure area before the explosion happened and stayed away from the blast radius.